Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now in the previous video we used Windsurf AI to make our very own content generator. I showed you how to make a prompt and then I prompted Windsurf. If you want to know the prompt building aspect of this, please watch the previous video. We'll leave a link to it somewhere on the screen now. Or you can just go on my channel and just go on the video before this video. Uh, but basically, all it is, is um, we have a very basic prompt and then we have some documentation. There's nothing complicated about this. But we want, we kind of wanted to compare how C-Line, or fuck's sake, Klein does versus Windsurf. So let's open up Visual Studio Code. Now, someone asked me to make a full video on how to install Klein. I'm not going to do that, guys, because honestly, all you do is just click on extensions and write Klein and then install Klein. Uh, I'm not going to make a 12 minute video on that because it, it's that easy. Yeah, it, it's literally that easy. There, uh, there hasn't been an update that I can see recently, so that's fine. So on the side here, we can see our, our little mate Klein here. You just want to press uh, settings and then you want to set the anthropic key here. You want to make sure that you've got the latest version of Sonnet here. And then there are some custom instructions here that I got from another video. Um, I'll leave those in the description if I remember. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how much of an impact these actually have. So I'll press done here. And then I'm just going to put the exact same prompt that we used in the last video on this video. So we'll just press enter here. Nothing has changed. This is a test to see how Klein versus um, Windsurf. And then we'll do Bolt. And then we'll also do Cursor. How each of those kind of uh works compared to the other one so we'll just press save here i'm just going to keep pressing save i feel like it should make a file first so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna press cancel real quick here and say um do you not need to make um, a project question mark right okay well i shouldn't have to tell you that mate but there you go no no, 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 no that's not what i wanted to do sorry 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 just cancel Wait, 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 wait. Please do this again with a different name. Okay, let's start fresh. There we go. Okay. Okay, content wizard. There we go. Okay. And now it's going to install the dependencies. Beautiful. So we'll run that command. I can just already tell, like, Windsurf is kind of less intuitive. I don't know what it is about Windsurf. I, I heard good things, but I'm not that impressed with it, to be honest with you. So I'm not actually doing anything special, guys. I'm just pressing save, 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 save. It looks like it's already doing a much better job here. Oh, it actually looks very similar, to be fair. Okay, so we'll save that. How does this look? Keep pressing save. Okay, it seems to think that it's done it all already. I'll be the judge of that. Okay, well, it's somehow managed to make, oh, it's even given it, oh no, that's the Vite, um, what's it called? Okay, so it looks exactly the same, which is kind of weird. So it mends, oh, it's because it, I gave it the, uh, uh, go off my screen. I gave it the, um, the CSS and everything that I got from V0. So I'll press generate here and we should be able to check out the content. So I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll let this run real quick but there are some changes I want to make already. It does still say generating, okay. Okay, so let's just cancel this and then cancel this. I'll say, please fix this error. Also, uh, add console logs throughout so I can see each stage. Also, there should be one, a scrape of the homepage for links, two, a sorting prompt which sorts the data and looks for relevant links to keyword. Three, a scrape of the relevant links for images and information. Four, an LLM scrape. Hmm. And then four, um, writing an article with this context. Okay, so we'll press enter here. Now, the cool thing about Klein is that it does kind of deal with these changes pretty well. Like, I've given it a lot of changes there. What Cursor would do in this situation, it would kind of freak out and get some things correct and then uh, 
sorry, hang on. Also, please use G GPT for Moodly for all models. Uh, yeah, what, what Cursor tends to do is it kind of just freaks out and just says like, oh, I'm going to change this, but I'm also going to delete this and completely ruin everything. So also the same is true of um, Bolt. Bolt does that all the time. It'll just kind of freak out and just change a load of stuff that you didn't ask it to change. Klein seems to be the most intelligent of all of the AI development softwares that I've used. Um, it just seems to be a little bit more refined and doesn't just freak out and doesn't do any crazy crap, basically. Um, so I'm expecting it to handle all of those changes pretty well. So we'll see what it comes up with. So save. Okay, I don't know how this actually works. Uh, it wants to use my browser for me. Kind of weird. Okay, so well, I'll just test it myself. So we'll do men's sneakers. So you can see here it says starting homepage scrape. Homepage links found, relevant links identified. Beautiful. Scraping content from relevant links. Uh, that, it's not an error, it's fine. This takes a little bit of time. Okay, content and images scraped. Beautiful. Yeah, this is actually working. These are real images, it looks like. Yeah, perfect. Generating final article. Nice. Beautiful. Um, Okay, so let's do a couple more things. Let's just control C and then press cancel here. So I want to do, I want to say, please and please embed images in the final content where, oops, where it says generated content. Also add a copy button. Uh, also scrape more uh, relevant, no, find more relevant Links three isn't enough. Um, GPT 4.0 mini can do this. So I don't actually know if I just go to paste to markdown. Oops. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, does it? Mm, kind of, not really. It doesn't have proper markdown here. So we'll just uh, quickly do this. Now, there are a couple of things you'd want to change here. If you want the content to be longer, you would add an outline prompt. If you want more like refined uh, relevant uh, link finding then you would use ChatGPT 4 mini to make that decision so right now what, what i believe it's doing i'm not 100 percent sure but what i think it's doing is it's just looking for the word sneaker inside a url so we'll just do npm run dev ourselves i should refresh it oh we have problems here Aha, tip tap image extension. See, I didn't know that existed. That's interesting. Okay, there we go. So we'll do men's sneakers and then two men dot it. Gina API key, open AI API key. So starting homepage scrape, found this, sorting links by relevance to keyword. There we go. Scraping content from relevant links. Okay, this is the bit that takes a little bit of time. So we'll just wait. Okay, content and images scraped, and then it possibly timed out here. What is this? Oh, yeah. So because there are so many images here and stuff, we need to um, uh, fix this. Okay, so the first video was 20 minutes long, or it took 20 minutes. So once it gets to the 20-minute mark, we'll just stop, and we'll see what we've got. Um, it looks like you can kind of see, if you watch the last video compared to this video, Klein is much better at kind of just understanding what you want and then fixing what you want and fixing errors. Whereas Windsurf was just a little bit, I don't know, slow, didn't really seem as good. Um, I'm definitely m much in the Klein camp. The only criticism I have of Klein is that sometimes it just goes on tangents when you're trying to build like a web app and it's doing crazy like middleware and things like that, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But like if you're just trying to make a simple web app you don't necessarily want to go into that much detail. We'll do this ourselves again instead of getting it to run it. So we'll just cancel that and then MV run dev. So this is now on 5173, so we'll just go there. Men's sneakers, https to men.ir. Let's see if it saved my OpenAI API key. Yeah, it did. And Gina. Okay, so now we've also got an error here. Okay, it's working. 
Scraping content from relevant links, perfect. Summarizing scraped content, generating final article. There we go. Fucking hell, look at that. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So I'll press copy here. Mark down to HTML, control A, control V. It looks like it's actually done, yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's put it in uh, HTML. I didn't ask for that, but it's fine. These, but things like that are prompting. So if you go on here, I guarantee somewhere here it'll say HTML. Use proper HTML image tags. Uh, yeah, so markdown, you should change that to markdown. Change that to markdown. Let's look for max tokens or tokens, no. Uh, it says concise, keep the e content focused and concise, no. Write as much content as possible. Available images, requirements, three to four main sections. So we'll do eight to 12 main sections, include 12 relevant image links, add internal links where relevant. Okay, so now if we run this again, uh, it should be longer. This is all prompting, like I said before, so let's generate here. That looks like it might be a link to Zilly Sneakers, if I'm not wrong. No, it's not, it's just bold. So it's not using internal links, but I mean, th these are all things that you could very easily fix. Generate final article, let's see what it comes up with this time. Okay, so now it's in Markdown, but that's totally fine. So we can just go to Markdown to HTML like that. Uh, okay, it's not quite fine because it's a little bit messed up. Okay, you'd have to run through this and kind of fix everything. But you can see we have images. So yeah, it's kind of hard to show this, but you can see it's getting a lot of images. Beautiful. And then we have the text here, et cetera, et cetera. So you, you'd still want to do a couple more things like um, fixing uh, everything. And it looks like uh, actually having it in HTML is better. So what I'll just do is HTML. We'll run this one more time. How, how long is this video? Okay, we've got one minute to run this one more time. Did I press save? Yeah, I did. I'm not sure if those saves went through actually before I press generate. Okay, it reloaded. So men's sneakers. So we should get a decent final piece of content here that should be much better than windsurfs, to be honest with you. So we'll just see what that looks like. There we go. So they are a pair of Zilly sneakers. It's only what, one image, but you know, at the end of the day, this is better than windsurf for sure. Let's just see if these are internal links. Can I actually, man, tippy tap, I need to, I need to work out how to use tip tap because that's pretty sick that you can do that. All you need to do is just slowly edit this. So you could say like, I want more images to be included in the final, in the final content. I want internal links in the final content. I want the final content to be better. And then you just press enter and then it will work on that itself. And then a lot of this will come from prompting. So you will have to do some prompting for yourselves as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I'll leave the video there guys. I think we can all agree the Klein is significantly better than Windsurf. Windsurf's got a lot of hype around it right now, but every single time a new tool is released, it seems to get a lot of hype. Whether it's good or not seems irrelevant. From my testing, Windsurf seems pretty trash, whereas Klein seems really, really good, and it just seems to understand what you're trying to do. Now, the craziest thing about this is that I've only spent 60 cents Okay, think about that for a second. I've just built my own content generator, which I could use to generate content all day long. Um, you could also, like, there are loads of things you could do with this, if you think about it. Um, one thing you could do is, like, you could say, make this work from an import of, key, of keywords, .csv, right? And then you give it a 1,000 keywords. You could very easily write a 1,000 articles. I'm not saying that's a good idea. I'm just saying it's possible, okay, that... There's a big difference between what's a good idea and what's possible, okay, in life. So just remember that. I'm just saying that you could, if you wanted to, make it so this generates, you know, a million articles for you in two minutes. So we'll just do one more run just because I want to see kind of what kind of state we're in now. So we'll see what this looks like now. And then you would slowly just continue to say, look, I want the content to be like this. I want it to work from a CSV of keywords. 
Um, I wanted to create data visualizations like we do in Harbor. I wanted to do perplexity research um, using the perplexity API, or you could even create your own um, kind of per pro perplexity pro thing using r.gina and s.gina. Um, I'll just explain that while that's running. The, there's a difference between s.gina and r.gina. If I go on API and go on reader, you can see use s.gina to search for something. So if you search for like uh, statistics on men's sneakers in Italy 2025, it will scrape the first five results and it will give you statistics, okay? That's how I replace perplexity in Harbor, in case you're curious. Okay, so we have more images now. Beautiful. Um, I still can't really see internal links, but I mean, that's just something that you'd have to slowly but surely make work. They, they, these things aren't as easy as they seem. So we'll just run this. So there's still no internal links, so you'd continue working on this, guys, but I'm going to leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. I hope this helps, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to make your own content generator using Windsurf.